Hi everyone, this is John, your friendly neighborhood Anderson Township branch team librarian. You know what's really cool? Yeah, that's right, it's boomerangs. So today I'm going to show you how to make one. But before we get into that, let's talk a little bit about how boomerangs work. You know, you throw them and they come back to you. But why does that happen? Well, when you throw a boomerang, its wings move through the air and push that air downward, which results in a force called lift that moves the boomerang upward. And while it's spinning through the air, whatever wing is on top at any given point in time is moving faster than the other wings. That's because this top wing is spinning forward while the boomerang moves forward, and the wings on the bottom are spinning backwards while the boomerang moves forward, which means they're a little bit slower. This results in an uneven amount of lift on the top wing, which creates a rotational force called torque. This torque is what moves the boomerang in a circular pattern, which means that with practice, when you throw a boomerang, the torque will bring it right back to you. Now that we know how it works, let's see if we can make one. You'll need cardboard or sturdy paper, like cardstock. I'm using the top of the shoebox. You'll also need scissors, a drawing utensil, I'm just using a pen, and tape or glue. A protractor will help you later on, but I'll be showing you what to do if you don't have one. The first thing I did was I drew the shape of a wing and I cut it out. Now I'm going to trace that shape two more times and cut out my second and third wing. That's one. And that's two. Now I'll cut them out. That's the second one. All right, and that's my third wing. Now I have all three wings of my boomerang. So, now if you'd like to, you can decorate them with markers or any other thing you might want, like stickers or paint. Just make sure if you use paint that it dries. And this is where a protractor would come in handy. If you measure all the angles between the wings, you wanna make sure they're all equal. I don't have a protractor, so I'm just going to eyeball it, which is fine. You just have to do your best. So what I'm going to do now is I'll tape it all together. And there you go, one boomerang. And there you have it. Now you know how to build a boomerang. After you've made one, go ahead and try it out in an open area. Just don't get discouraged if it doesn't return right away. It might take a few practice throws to really get the hang of it. If you want to learn more about flight, be sure to check out NASA.gov's aeronautics page. And if you're interested in learning more about cultures that have historically used boomerangs, you can watch some great documentaries on Canopy. All you need is your library card to get started. One great doc is Dreamings, the art of Aboriginal Australia. And that's it! Be sure to check out the library's YouTube channel for more great STEM activities just like this. Thanks, and bye! This video was produced in partnership with the Greater Cincinnati STEM Collaborative. For more STEM activities, visit greatercincystem.org.